NorCal Rambler here. We're going to clean the uh, Henry lever action Colt 45 from start to finish. <laughs> All right, we've got several hundred rounds that have gone through this, so it should be pretty dirty. First thing we're gonna do is take the screw out. It takes the lever action off and holds the firing bolt in. You don't have to take the whole gun apart on the higher calibers. Um, on the 22s, Henry's, you do have to take the whole uh, metal piece apart. But on the higher calibers, you can just get away with cleaning them like I'm going to show you today. And uh, it gets everything clean that needs to be cleaned. Now this lever action area needs to be cleaned. And then this bolt will come right out. There's a little piece in there that I got my finger on. It's just like a little tweezers looking thing. And it, it rides along the rail. and actually guides the rail. So you can replace that part if you need to you can take it out and clean it but I find I can clean it without taking it out today we're using good old hoopies I'm gonna use the bore cleaner on the main stuff and then I'm gonna go back through with the oil with the lubricant oil so I'll just clean this up real good and to get in there I'm gonna use the uh, use the brush All right, clean up this bolt here. It's pretty dirty, actually. You don't need to take anything apart in here. There's a little spring, but you don't need to take it out. You can clean it all up right from the surface. that a good wipe I'll just start cleaning these insides All right, so we're gonna get some slops here. Oh, cotton patches, and start cleaning out the inside of the gun. You can do the back of the bore here. You can go straight through the uh, barrel and down to the bore, but I like to do it kind of half and half because most of the dirt's right in here. Yeah, there's some gook in there. Okay, scratch it out. Make sure you keep your patches wet with some bore cleaner.
I like to get up underneath here. There's a lot of dirt underneath here. A lot of uh, spent gunpowder. I also like to get a lot of lubricant in here, keep things uh, moving freely. Now I'm going to take the barrel ram and I'm going to go right down the barrel with a patch. Um, just get the right right caliber um, patch pusher, push it right down the barrel. First, you go through with the uh, with the brush, of course, and then you go ahead and uh, push the patches through. I'm not gonna waste your time because that's gonna be off the camera, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so you can see up here above me, I've got the. Uh, the ramrod and it's got the uh, the cloth on it. I went through and I did the uh, the uh, metal brush and then I went through with a pushed a couple patches through and then I went through with that uh, that little cotton pusher and it's all cleaned out. So now it's time to put it all back together. Pretty simple deal. Put the bolt back in. Of course, the firing pin's right on top of that. And that's actually the uh, action that pushes the casing out after you shot it, too. So. Line it up. Now, the, uh, the little groove in the rail should be on the left-hand side. Push it back in. Not all the way. Uh, you're going to have to line this... Uh, lever action up right into the uh, the bottom groove and you can see it when it moves so I can felt it move there I'll put the screw back in give it a check make sure it's nice and tight now check the action yep there you have it Check it a couple times, make sure things are okay. Give it a nice wipe down. Now, you don't have to do this every time you go out shooting. Um, you know, it's so when you get maybe 100 rounds through it or so. You know, some people like to clean them every time. So, I definitely clean my revolvers a lot more than I clean my rifles. I'm just going to admit that right here. <laughs> So there you go. That's the uh, breakdown and cleaning of the uh, Henry and mine's calibered 45 Colt.